Hey YouTube, it's your girl D. Lari, and I'm popping in all that. Today I have another cooking vlog for y'all. So before we get into this video, thank y'all so much. We are at 11,000 subscribers, so we on the road to like what 15 and stuff and all that. So thank you for that. Thank you for tuning in to my channel to look at all my previous cooking videos, all my old videos. Thank y'all so much for the feedback, for the um, comments and everything. So today I'm actually going to um, be cooking for you guys. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go to the other channel, The Cryer Family. There we have all type of craziness, pranks, challenges, vlogs. All of that crazy stuff. He always doing these pranks on me. So, I need some ideas, y'all. Comment down below. With that being said, today I'm making homemade mashed potatoes. I do have my potatoes boiling here. Because it takes a while for them to get soft and whatever. So, I have my potatoes boiled here. I'm going to be making um, fried chicken and fried corn. If y'all don't know what fried corn is, then I want to show y'all. So, my ingredients for... Um, the fry for the homemade mashed potatoes is just um, I got one, two, or three, four, five, six um, potatoes cut and shaved and everything in hot water. And I'm going to put that on. I have my timer for 45 minutes. It's between 35 and 40, 45 minutes for it to boil. You'll put a little salt in there, turn your eye up to about past medium, not too high, so it can start boiling. Then I have my grease here for my chicken that um, is fresh grease that my chicken I'm going to put in there. And then here I have a skillet for the fried corn. Now the utensils, I have a strainer for my potatoes when they come out. I have a tong to get the chicken. Over here, I have bell pepper and the butter, just like a cube of butter for the um, fried corn because that's what I'm going to be putting in here. And then I have um, whole kernel drained, whole kernel corn drained. And then I have sweet corn cream style. And that's going to go for my fried corn. So I'm going to make that for you guys really quick. And then I'm going to turn the camera back on once my potatoes done boiling. So with my fried corn, my grandmother always makes this and I honestly like it. Damien said he never had fried corn, so it will be a first for him. But I like fried corn. So you're just gonna take your butter and your skillet. Don't cut it up too high. Take your butter and your skillet. As your butter is sizzling, put your um, bell pepper in there. Your bell pepper in there. If you need a little bit more butter, it's okay. You can go ahead and add. Let that simmer a little bit. While that's simmering, you're going to add the corn right away so that it can all put both of them in together. all your corn honey and then put your cream style corn in there let it simmer you can add a little sugar in there if you want it's up to you let that cook for about mm, like almost 10 minutes or so let it simmer I'm gonna add a, just a little bit of sugar and black pepper in there because um, that's the way I was taught to cook it. That's the way I learned growing up. That's the way that tastes good to me. So you can put it to your taste and it's up to you. And then, like I said, my potatoes is still boiling. So I'm gonna still let that boil. Y'all, I forgot to get the sugar out. And I can't reach it. <laughs> you need some help? <laughs> yes. 
I got you. You want the? You know we have one open right there, that yellow oh, one. Oh, that one. I can use that one. Oh, I see. Sure. Yeah, I can use this. Sugar, sugar. Yep. Okay, y'all. So I got my sugar. Sometimes you can add sugar. Here, <laughs> thank Sometimes you can add sugar. It's up to you. But I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a um, two spoonfuls is enough. You don't want your corn too sweet. It tastes like candy. So then um, I'm going to let that bring that to a simmer. Once it starts bubbling, I'm going to stir it over again. And then I'll be able to um, move forward. So I'm just going to stir this all in. That way. The taste and everything is going to be to what it's supposed to be. Now, as far as my chicken, you guys, I'm just going to tell y'all what I put in my chicken real quick. I put, um, it's marinated already. My chicken is marinated. And, um, as y'all can see, all marinated. So, what I did, I put, um, it's the party wing from Walmart in the orange bag. So, I got, I Thawed them out, cleaned them, and then I sauteed them with um, adobo, lemon pepper, um, garlic powder, um, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of um, jalapeno juice, a little bit of lemon juice, and um, some two and a half packs of sasson. And I um, put it all together like. Brought it all together, stirred it and everything. And I've been letting letting it marinate for some time now. So I don't put flour with my chicken because I feel it tastes better without it. So with that being said, when I fry it, y'all will see the difference from it like being like so thick and breaded. So, um, and then my mashed potatoes still boiling here. But what I did, what I put in it is salt, um, a half a stick of butter, um, sour cream, ranch, and milk and you'll need a a hand mixer as well once those come out so i'm going to do step by step for y'all i know it's a lot but i'll do step by step as you can see my corn is coming to a little boil so i'm just stirring it occasionally so that it can still cook of course corn i mean canned corn is cooked you just of course got to heat it up and bring it to your own tasting so that's all i'm doing right now I'm just going to let that simmer a little bit more and then I'll be back in the next clip. And we're back you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> so today post notification goes to Tanya Hamilton. I do know that you are a new subscriber. Thank you so much for tuning in to the DLaurie's channel, cooking vlogs, whatever. Um, I do appreciate it. I do thank you so much. So post notification, shout out goes to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I do pay attention. So you guys, it has been about 35 minutes or so. My potatoes are really soft. How I know that they're so soft that I in fact took a fork, poked through and they fell apart just like that. What I'm gonna do now, you guys, is just pour this water over into a strainer and then I am going to show you all how to make homemade mashed potatoes, the Lari edition. So let me just drain this. Be careful you guys because it's very, 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 very hot. So just draining it off. Ooh. So then you do have your potatoes here. Gonna put butter. Garlic powder. Leave your eye on, put it at a medium. I'm gonna put black pepper. Ooh. Sour cream. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. In the meantime, I'm gonna put my heat on for my chicken. I'm gonna put my biscuits in. My cameraman can pay attention. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm paying attention. You can believe that. I'm oh. focused. 
Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? Okay. Okay, so sour cream, just a little bit here. We just put one more scoop. Um, then I'm going to put a little foot. Just a little bit. A little ranch. Just a little bit. That's all the taste you got. And then as far as milk, just going to put a tad bit. You don't want it too milky. Because the more milk you put, the more watery and con the uh, consistency will be. I'm going to turn this blender on, you guys. I know it might be a little bit loud. But I'm going to turn the blender on. And then I'm just going to blend it all up. Just put it on the medium. See that? So then you're just gonna put a little bit, a little bit more butter in there. Turn the eye off. Just put a little bit more butter, um, because uh, you, I, I like buttery mashed potatoes. You know, I think it's good. So just gonna put just a little bit, nothing too much, and let it melt. Just let it melt in there. I'm just going to sit it back. My grease, I'm going to check my grease to make sure it's ready. And how you check your grease for your chicken. Just put a little water in there. Once it starts popping like that, you know, popping and all that, you just go ahead and grab your chicken. Mind you, it's been marinated for a while, so it's very seasoned. If you guys didn't miss, if you missed it, here it is again. Very seasoned, you guys. Marinated very well. I don't use flour. I do apologize. But I don't use flour. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure it's just all the way in there and put them right on over. Cut your eye up a little bit. So that it can fry a little bit better and faster. Especially if they've been marinated for a while. I'm going to go ahead and check on my biscuit. Mmm. Smells so good. Mm. You got the towel, you guys. I do apologize. Just putting all my chickens in here, or some of them, so that they can go ahead and cook. Then I would cook it at least um, eight to 10 minutes per side, depending on how crispy you want them. Eight to 10 minutes is doable. Like I said, just cut it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna get the top for this. My corn is done. I don't know if I showed all the finishes of the corn. Here's my corn. My corn is done. My chicken is frying. Mashed potatoes are done as well. <coughs> I'm gonna keep the water back. If you um, want to try this at home, 
I can put how to, how I make my homemade mashed potatoes and everything um, step by step from scratch. Um, if you want to know my recipe to what I put in my chicken, I can give you that as well. And then as far as the fried corn, I can put that in the description box. I know a lot of people want dessert and everything, so just let me know. Um, I've seen a lot of like banana pudding, peach cobbler, I think I've seen cheesecake. Um, just let me know and the most requested is the one I will make. I haven't made a dessert yet. Um, I have a lot of food for y'all to make. But I just don't know, like schedule wise, when to make it. Because y'all be like, D, I want this girl. I'll be like, girl. Then y'all want me to deliver it, and I'll be like, girl. You know. So just let this cook on eight to ten minutes, and then um, I think I'm gonna eat a piece of this brownie or a cookie or something. And then I'll conclude the video after that, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, hey, you guys. So I just took my some of my chicken out. I'm about to take the rolls out as well. My rolls is out. We're going to do a taste test, you guys. And then I'm going to conclude this video. And I'm going to finish making the rest of this chicken. And finishing up dinner. So... Y'all be wanting Amy to do the taste test. So I'm going to give him a little sample. Or whatever. Now this is just a taste test. And he likes flat, so I don't think he needs a taste test of bread. So here you go. Mmm, that's for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. This looks really good. Wow. And you look beautiful today, as usual. You think so? Well, I think so. I know so. The food looks good, and you get to mm. have mercy. <laughs> Can you just hit that one high note for me? Mm -hmm. I, I can't get that high. So this is the this is the sweet corn you say, or what is it? Fried corn. This is fried corn. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty yummy, actually. Mmm. This is good. Really? You never had it? Really? Really? Let's do the mashed potatoes. It's good. Don't do it. <laughs> Is it good? I, I guess so. Try the chicken for them. Put your plate right there and pull that chicken apart. See how clean it is. in the meat is crazy man which is why That's honestly crazy, which man. is why i marinate i marinate the chicken 
for oh, about 45 God. minutes, sometimes overnight, depending on what I'm cooking. This is a Sunday. I'm going to be good. I'm going to lay down. This is Netflix. Stay with my baby. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. So, conclude the video. I'm greedy. <laughs> It's not that deep. It is. Guys, listen. Conclude the video. These, this food is so good, I highly recommend that you try this meal. Now, me and Delaurie has been reading a lot of you guys' comments mm -hmm. where y'all want us to actually do a cook-off. So basically, me and Delaurie in the kitchen throwing down cooking. You know, she's been telling me that she knows how to make homemade dressing and I've been so excited to taste it, guys. Now, I don't know if she's gonna give up that full recipe during the video, but if you guys want her to give up the recipe to the upcoming videos as far as like dressing and stuff that she normally ever gives away or talks about in the videos, like every woman has that grandma secret, that mama secret. If you want some of those secrets and some of those recipes, I'll make down below after this video, man. But uh, anyway, so we are, we do read your comments, guys, and we do um, look at everything that you guys say. Even the bad comments for the trolls is, you know, coming in and out saying negative stuff. We welcome your comments as well. Um, but comment down below if you want Mandy Lowry to do a cook off and one of the. I don't the, think uh, you want to do that to yourself. Oh, embarrass myself? I didn't say that. That's what it sounded like. I think right. the only thing you would beat me in is steak. It sounds. Oh, so you. So. Because so, your steak is. Shoo! I'll be going in. I mean, you know, what can I say? It's not that deep. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but that sounds, hold on, yo, yeah. Do not do that in my video, I'm sorry. We not doing that in my video. Hey and guys. you know we not. Don't even start that. It was a joke. Hey no guys, way. listen, we love you guys, man. We thank you for watching the video, man. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to what? A thousand likes for these for the hard work and effort that she put into these videos, man. Because she does these videos for you guys, man. She enjoys doing them. And she enjoys most importantly helping teaching other people out there who, you know, moving out on their own, how to cook, use certain types of seasonings, giving them cooking ideas. Let's get this video to at least a thousand likes for these guys. And then I do another video for y'all. Okay. You so, think I should do a dessert? I think you should. They've been begging for that dessert. I am a dessert. No. Mm, yes, you are. <laughs> but hey, we love you guys, man. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.